the Knicks for Indiana. Not the start to the season that this team wanted, but they can turn it around with a win at any time. We'll see if that starts tonight. Knicks, Pacers, we'll be right back after this. everyone thanks for joining us on 2k sports nba action is coming up with greg anthony and hall of famer doris burke this is kevin harlan and we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight david aldridge And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Well, Kevin, one of the great stories is Julius Randle becoming an all-star in New York. Randle said it's been a lot of hard work paying off as a shooter, a passer, a leader, you name it. I've gotten to flip the script on my own reputation. while also helping with this larger thing we have going, changing the reputation of our entire franchise. Mission accomplished, Kevin. Yep, he's big enough to handle it. His performance speaks loudly. Thank you, D.A. Here's a look at what's coming up for New York. On Wednesday, they'll defend home court against the Orlando Magic. Then on Saturday, they'll take on John Wall and the Houston Rockets. And for the matchup with the Bulls, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. In the post, it's Sabonis and Turner. T.J. McConnell is out there with Malcolm Brogdon, and it's Warren in at the three. And for the Knicks, sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. Merlin's Noel is out there with Julius Randle, and it's Walker in at the point guard position. So Indiana wins the tip. And tonight, Greg, two teams with a lot of history that know each other very, very well. And sometimes familiarity beats contempt. And, and that goes for the players, coaches, and fans. Here 
Here's McConnell. Got that time, not on target. And New York the other way now. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Fournier gets a wide open look. Those three pointers off the mark. Looking at the last game for the Indiana Pacers, it was a loss to Philadelphia. McConnell kicks to Warren. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. Wow. If T.J. Warren makes threes with consistency, it will unlock every other aspect of his game. And that's significant, guys. Stolen by Brogdon. It's Turner high post. Good on the bucket. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the oh. Oh. Wow. wow, Julius Randle with a little flavor on the finish. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Brogdon outside. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Offline from the high post. For New York, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Pass to Walker. To the paint. Here's Randall. Banked in off the glass. Randall's got his second basket of the night. Well, the strength of Julius Randall is an obvious asset. This guy, despite being undersized, is able to finish through contact. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Something T.J. Warren has to his credit, Greg, is one of the more storied honors a basketball player can earn. ACC Player of the Year Award. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of Hall of Famers who've won that prize to set yourself apart like Warren did in one of the toughest conferences in college basketball. That just shows the depth of talent this man has always possessed. And Barrett gets it to go. R.J. Barrett entered the league with confidence and an ability to get off the dribble drive. Nicely done. 
Brogdon outside. Shoots again, Indiana. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. The pass to Barrett. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. And that's a foul called on T.J. Warren. That is his first foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. And here's Walker. 38 points for him last game against Charlotte. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboard. What a complete game for this guy. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. Well, I'll tell you, I love that he's not afraid to take on the size mismatch there, Greg. It doesn't matter. Just make shots. Warren, that's for two. And it comes off the front of the rim. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And it's not talked about all that much. But Barrett makes a huge contribution on the glass. Right. He's aggressive. He's instinctive. He has added good weight. And the athleticism to beat people to those 50-50 balls is important. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Tory Craig. He's checked in for TJ Warren. So one for two that time at the stripe. Working on consistency with that jumper. You can see Barrett has improved his shooting mechanics. Much more repeatable motion now. Turner passes to Brogdon. Randall grabs the board. And so it's Randall bringing it up now for the Knicks. They trail by one. Barrett against McConnell. And Barrett gets it to go. Barrett's got five points so far. You can see Barrett looks a lot more comfortable now from every spot, Greg, on the floor. From three mid-range, the free throw line. When he knocks down shots, defenders have to creep up to stay connected. And that's when he can put the ball on the floor and get by people. Pacers have gone four of ten shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Craig passes to Turner. That shot misses. So New York will take it the other way. They went to Indiana for their last meeting with the Pacers and came out with a win. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one. Were dominant in the rebound department, and that was a huge factor. I think there was no question they brought a level of physicality along with a tremendous work ethic, and it was why they were successful. Fournier against Rodden. Shoots over Fournier. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Boy, hard to defend that any better. Just Malcolm Brogdon's ability to play through the contest. Really nice. That's a two-pointer from Walker. Pacers with the rebound. Coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Yeah, I mean, hard time shooting the rock in that one. But they also didn't give themselves the best look. I think even when you get quality looks, there was an inability to stay consistent. It is hard to win on a cold shooting night in today's NBA. The scoring is just too good. There's the dish to Randall. To the inside. Barrett. And Barrett slams it in. Well, keep your head up. Look for an opportunity to facilitate Julius Randall the delivery. Brogdon with it. He's a guy that can score, no doubt, averaging over 25 points a game. On the way, Turner. He's covered by Noel. Four on the shot clock. 
Here's Brogdon. Nice D from Barrett. New York leading by three. Here's Fournier. Goes back up. And it's sent back by Turner. Well, how about Turner's ability to anticipate when the shooter's going to release? Couldn't be better at timing his rejections. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. A different look for New York. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Noel. Brooks comes in for Fournier. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Walker. Pacers trail by three. Brogdon outside. Rose with the rebound. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. And that one, good. And it's eight points for Julius Randle. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come timeout, timeout. from inside the paint. So timeout called here, the first for Indiana. And Kevin, one thing you have to respect about Derrick Rose is that he's never stopped evolving. He's constantly adapting his game to best fit what his team needs. Indiana making some changes. Goga Bitadze is checked in for Miles Turner. Brissett comes in for Sabonis. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for T.J. McConnell. Here's Bitadze taking a look at his numbers. He averages about seven points a game. Brogdon kicks to Lamb. Here's Bitadze. Burks covering. A three. Lamb. Good. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Rose. The step back jumper is good. And the Knicks lead by four. Uh, this guy is such a strong decision maker. Derek Rose with the mid-range jumper. Yes, that's in my bag as well. Here's Brissett. Passes it to Lamb. Just five on the clock. Drogdon with it from outside the arc. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got five rebounds tonight. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backdoor. Pass to Brissett. Back to Brogdon. Kicks it to Lamb. Indiana moving the ball over. Brock outside. Over Robinson. There's Bitadze. And he lays it straight in. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Pass to Rose. Outside for Randall. Kept alive. Here's Robinson. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. Catching up on the changes for New York. Toppin comes in for Randall. And quickly in for R.J. Barrett. And that one misses. 
Hey, Doris, one thing you can count on with Mitchell Robinson, he's going to make the majority of the shots he takes. Right, think about it. Back in 2020, he shattered the record for highest field goal percentage in the season. Most of his buckets right at the cup in the restricted area. This guy has plenty of time to expand that range, and we know he's working on it. Toppin can't get it to go. Well, they are daring him to miss, and he obliges. Here's Duarte. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Brogdon finds Lamb. Indiana needs to get a shot off. That one falls. Now, quickly. 11 points for him in that last game against the Hornets in Charlotte. And there's the pass to Rose. Wants to get it to Robinson and does. Lays it up off the glass. Robinson's got his second bucket tonight. The vision by Rose, right? Hits the open man. He's creating for others. And this guy is so tough to deal with. Again against Robinson. In right side. Another shot. It's rebounded by New York. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Burks' shot is good. And it's a six-point Knicks lead. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And here's Brockton from the arc. Burks pulls it in. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And Toppin throws it down. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. Here's Bitadze, and the Pacers can't get it to go. And it's Rose with the ball for New York. Eight-point game. Yep, that one goes. Rose has got his second bucket of the game to go. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Duarte passes to Brogdon. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. And that one is stuffed right through. Wow, Malcolm Brogdon doing work off the dunk. That is nice. Now, here's Quickly. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Three-pointer. The shot misses. Julius Randle getting it done for New York. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And one of the league leaders in steals and deflections, T.J. McConnell, explains how he causes havoc on the floor. He does, boy. He is all hustle. An undrafted pack in 2015. But that energy and effort is what's earned McConnell a place in this league. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? You got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court right now for the Pacers. They've got Warren, and it's Brissett in at the power forward. Outside Warren. Passes Duarte. Pass to Bitadze. Six on the shot clock. Warren with the ball. Now guarded by Gibson. That shot no good. The Knicks go the other way with it. Pass to Quickly. He 
Kicks it to Rose. There's the pass to Joppin. From downtown, it's rebounded by Indiana. They've got the Pistons ahead of them in their next game in Detroit. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. Here's Bitaze. Passes it to Holiday. Pass to Bitaze. Back to Holiday. Indiana again. Missing. The Knicks leading by 13. Rose passes to Quickly. Back to Rose. Here's Grimes. And the three off target. The Pacers have gone 0-4 in the second quarter. Obviously, that needs to change. Here's Duarte. Outside Warren. That's Duarte. Trying to end the drought. Yes, that goes in. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Ball's knocked loose. Gibson passes to Quickly. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Grimes. And the Knicks miss again. Pacers trail by 11. Gibson with it. Now defended by Warren. For the three. That shot is off. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. Duarte passes to Bitazzi. Kicks to Rose. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Well, the defense flat out awful right there. And he couldn't punish them for their mistake. Holiday dishes to Warren. And the lead is down inside single digits. Warren's got eight points. Well, T.J. Warren's frame and game perfectly suited for a finish on the interior. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. making a switch here. So it's the Knicks now. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. And the pass to Walker. Warren against Randall. Back to Walker. A floater. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Passes it to McConnell. Stolen by Walker. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, the defender collapses because on the dribble drive from Kemba Walker, my goodness, is he clever. And defensively, no matter the size of the man he's guarding, Walker really puts up a fight. Some smaller guards pretend to battle. But Walker will bang with you, try to front you, pull on your jersey, whatever it takes. He backs down from no one. One falls for And it's got to be liberating for Walker these past few seasons, not having to do everything himself. Right. He spent eight years in Charlotte, guys, and carried such a heavy burden night by night, only to make the playoffs in just two years. But this guy, boy, you love it. Never sold, never demanded a trade, always a true pro. Turner with it, now guarded by Noel. 
to Sabonis. Fournier pulls it down. The Knicks leading by 11. Outside, Walker. And it's sent back by Turner. Warren against Barrett. Knocks it loose. He gets stolen by Randall. And it's Barrett penetrating. Holiday with the block. Out to the right wing. Here's McConnell. That falls. Nice feed that time from Turner. New York's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. And here's the fast break. From 13. And no good. Randall with some nice D. And Randall has got the ball here for the New York Knicks. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Well, we've known for a long time Kemba Walker is gifted on the offensive end, and it's not just about his scoring. Look at that on the assist. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Good evening, Kevin. Malcolm Brogdon has become a Pacers stalwart. He said, I fit the identity of this team as an underdog that overperforms and proves people wrong. It has to be the leader of this team. I lead with my voice and by example. I'll be fearless on the court so that my teammates can follow. Kevin? I love what he's about, David. Thank you. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Warren. That's what we call cashing in from mid-range. T.J. Warren's been there a time or two. Holiday against Fournier. Over Holiday. Fournier's shot is off. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Holiday surveying the floor. Fires from deep. And it's Noel with the rebound. New York leading by nine. Pass to Barrett inside. Randall. And it's sent back by Turner. Holiday against Fournier. Here's the three. The Knicks pull it in. Randall's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Barrett. Nice D from Sabonis. Pacers trail by nine. Outside Turner. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. The ability to play through contact so important for Miles Turner. He's got the size and strength to finish through. Noel passes to Randall. Now Walker. Outside Fournier. Five on the clock. Trying to get open is Randall. New York, no good that time either. Indiana's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Here's Holiday, and Holiday throws it down. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Walker's shot is off. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. And the Knicks making a change here. Robinson's checked in. Then for the Pacers, Torrey Craig comes in for T.J. Warren, and it's Lamb in there for Justin Holiday. Outside, Robinson... Here's Barrett, and he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Pacers trailed by five. Sabonis finds McConnell. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Barrett. And he finishes nicely on the way. Barrett's got nine. Well, despite pretty good contests on the interior, R.J. Barrett doesn't back down and makes it look easy. A shot by McConnell, no good. The Knicks leading by seven. No one near Randall as he lets it go. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. 11 points in the game. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Now the pass to Sabonis. 
and layups good off the glass. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Outside Fournier. Here's Randall. And it's McConnell with the rebound. Pacers trail by eight. Outside Lamb. Pass to Sabonis. The shot, no good. So New York will take it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. They'll find themselves in the middle of the string of three straight at home. Boy, Julius Randle is getting to his spots and starting to really cook. And Turner kicks to Lamb. And it's off the back rim. No good. And Barrett has got the ball here for New York. Ten-point lead. Walker finds Robinson. Walker against Turner. Three-pointer to Randall. Two rebound by Turner. Turner's got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to McConnell. Robinson against Turner. There's Sabonis. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Toppin, he's checked in for the Knicks. Alec Burks comes in for Evan Fournier. The Pacers also with a sub. Ogden's checked in. The Knicks leading by 10. And here's Barrett. Nine points in the game so far. And Mitchell Robinson is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And got off to a good start offensively in this game, but have lost a little bit of their touch here in this quarter. Pacers trail by 10. Brogdon outside. Pass to Turner. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Wow, Miles Turner showing a bit of physicality and getting his teammates fired up with the hoop and the arm. All right. And Kevin, when we talk about new age bigs in the NBA, one of the first I think of is Miles Turner. Here's a guy who has led the league in blocks, but can also stretch the floor. That's good from Turner. In 2018-19, not only did Turner lead the NBA in swats, he also shot almost 40% break on his three. And, and you go back just like 10 years ago, you, you'd never think we'd see players with the skill set of Turner. But this is how the game has evolved. And, and guys like Turner are just so valuable for teams to have. You can see he just rushed that a little bit. Lost the focus, I think. Here's Robinson, and it's set back by Turner. Ogden looking it over. 26 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Robinson with the block. This guy's nose for the basketball, and his timing as a shot blocker is intimidating. Mitchell Robinson so quick off his feet. Here's quickly. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Terrific form at the line throughout last season. 89% on the year. and they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. 12 seconds left in the first half. Brogdon with it. Here's Duarte. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Duarte has got five points in the quarter. And so it's New York bringing the 
quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge. Okay, appreciate it. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, can't tell you uh, how, how much it means to us to have you back with us on the uh, halftime show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, uh, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. It means oh, the world, brother. doesn't it? Yes, yeah. Yeah. So big. A fantastic first quarter from Julius Randle. He had 13 points, six rebounds, and one assist. And taking a look at the Knicks, Shaq, what'd you think? They made every possession count by limiting the mistakes. Very disciplined about protecting the ball and making the right play. They keep this up. You should be safe. Don't get cocky and lose just because you're ahead. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Pacers. They've been out of sync in this one, shooting under 40%. Struggling to create good looks and settling for tough shots. I like to see them drive the basketball more and get easy buckets. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. We're seeing a tremendous game from Julius Randle. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. Well, you can see why they would continue to play through him. He was tough to stop, super assertive down low. Just great work. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. In the forward positions, Barrett and Randall. Fournier out there with Kemba Walker. And it's Noel in at the five, patrolling the paint. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. Sabonis, the pass to Turner. And it's slammed in by Turner. DeMontis Sabonis is one of the outstanding passers from the post position that we have in today's game. If you're open, he'll find you. Walker in the post. He's against Turner. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, it's going to be on Miles Turner. Yeah, easy call. And after averaging just six points per game as a rookie, DeMontis Sabonis was moved by the Thunder to the Pacers. Yeah, think about it. He was the key part of the trade sending Paul George to Oklahoma City. And all DeMontis has done since that deal, guys, improve his game. He has become one of the elite skilled bigs in the league. He's been named to a couple All-Star games. This guy has proved to be a great value for the Pacers. The first free throw is good. As a young man growing up in New York, Kemba Walker was part of a performance team. And this young man as a performer between the lines as a basketball player. There is a bit of improvisation there as well. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Now Brogdon. The pass to McConnell. Now Sabonis. Rebound Kemba Walker. Outside Fournier. And the foul on Miles Turner. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. New York moving it around. There's Noel, and Turner with the block. They recover it. Four on the clock, blocked again. Well, an 0-3 start to the half. You need to pick it up and start to put some pressure on your opponent. 
Here's Brogdon. Count it and the foul. That's on Evan Fournier. Wow, how about the balance and strength of Malcolm Brogdon? Give him the end one. Well, it's one of the things most fans don't notice, but Malcolm Brogdon, Greg, is one of the best free throw shooters ever. How about had a year where he shot 93% from the line to lead the NBA and for his career, just about a 90% shooter. That's a huge advantage for a point guard like Brogdon, a guy who handles the ball late in close games. Free throw good from Brogdon. In Malcolm Brogdon doors, we've got a player who's won more than his share of individual accolades. Right, think about it. In college, he was the first player to win both the ACC Player of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year awards, and then topped it off by winning Rookie of the Year back in 17. Not a bad resume, guys. Boy, yet another missed opportunity here. Whatever they talked about at halftime, it's not working. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. To the middle. Takes it from ten. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's going to go on Sabonis. Well, there's a certain edge that Julius Randle plays with that allows him to draw contact. And one thing that separates Randle from other guys, his size. That spin move. He can do it off the drive, in the post, now going either direction. That free throw good from Randall. Around the floor, uh, Greg, is there anyone Randall reminds you of? I mean, I mean, they're different players, but Akeem Olajuwon had an unbelievable spin move. Takes a lot of body control, especially for taller guys. But when you do it well, man, it is tough to stop. All free throws, good from Randall. It's very hard to envision a tougher start to a young man's career. Think back, Julius Randle broke his leg in his first NBA game. But to his great credit, he wasted no time getting healthy and becoming productive. And so it's Randle bringing it up now for the Knicks. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Passes it to Barrett. And here's Randle. He's covered by Warren. And there's Randle on the assist from Barrett. Randle's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, I love the confidence Julius Randle has in himself. This guy knows what it takes to score. Brogdon against Walker. No one near Turner as he lets it go. Had the space there, but it's offline. Walker at the elbow. He dishes it to Randle. Back to Walker. Feeds it to Barrett. Makes it off the glass. And it's an eight-point Knicks lead. Well, you talk about a gifted finisher. R.J. Barrett, soft touch on the interior. Down low. Warren. Good work there as it goes. Warren's got 12 in the game. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Logged in against Fournier. Pass to Walker. Back to Randall. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Pacers trail by eight. McConnell with it. Now defended by Randall. Now here's McConnell. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. There's a bonus. And it's off from three-point range. The Knicks leading by eight. Outside, Walker. Here's Randall. 19 points in the game. And Noel kicks to Barrett. For three, Fournier. No good on that one. So Indiana will take it the other way. 
Outside Turner. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. Miles Turner covered tightly, but nonetheless scores it. That is really well done. Here's Barrett. There's another block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. And the shot is good. Barrett's got four points in the quarter. Now there's a strength to R.J. Barrett that belies that thin frame. He's got toughness and the willingness to absorb contact. Poked away. Noel against Sabonis. McConnell passes to Turner. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. And that's 13 points for Miles Turner. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. For three, Barrett. They get the rebound. Well put all that size to good use. Rip it off the backboard. Here's Warren. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. Sabonis has got four assists in the game. New York calls timeout. And a lot can be said about DeMontis Sabonis' scoring ability. But everything else he does, he also excels at. Also a terrific passer for a big man. For the Knicks, Gibson comes in for Nerlens Noel. And it's Rose in for Evan Fournier. Indiana also making some changes. Brissett has checked in for Sabonis. And Justin Holliday subbed in for Brogdon. Rose gets the walker. Shot from the wing. The Pacers pull it in. Holliday's got six rebounds now in the game. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. Obi Toppins checked in for the Knicks. The Pacers also with the sub. Yoga Bitadze's checked in for Miles Turner. And Barrett has got the ball here for the Knicks. A rebound by Bitadze. You know, he really just tried to do a little too much there. He shouldn't be afraid to kick that one back out. Here's Brissett. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. B. Tadze can't hit. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. Outside, Walker. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Kemba Walker entered the NBA as a crafty offensive player. He knows how to take advantage of any kind of defensive mistake. Nicely done. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. And they've consistently drilled that mid-range jumper as well, and that's really opened things up for them. And so it's Indiana with it. They trail by seven. McConnell scanning the floor. Holiday, the pass to be Johnson. From outside, off the mark. New York's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. That's a two-pointer from Walker. That one wide left. 
That's one he knows he should have drained. Outside Holiday. Pass to Craig. Six to shoot. Here's McConnell. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Gibson. Gibson's got four rebounds now tonight. Walker against Tullet. Outside, Walker. A shot by Burks. Nobody around. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got assist number five here tonight. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And the foul on Obi Toppin. That's his first foul. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Robinson's checked in for Taj Gibson. And Lamb kicks to Craig. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Shot clock at six. The pass to Lamb. A three-pointer is right on target. Lamb's got six. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Passes it to Walker. He feeds it to Robinson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Six points for him. Uh, easy to see why Mitchell Robinson's shooting percentage is so high. He is so smart and judicious with the shots he takes. Here's Duarte. Burks covering. Bitante, the pass Duarte. Shoots over Burks. The shot no good by Duarte. The Knicks leading by nine. Pass to Rose. And the officials into the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Now here's Lamb. He's guarded closely. Stolen by Rose. Outside Robinson. Here's Burks. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Love to see Alec Burks get aggressive with the defense. This guy terrific getting the defense to foul him. This is his first trip to the line tonight. He's been doing really nice work at the line. 83%. And he makes the first. Alec Burks continuing to develop into a dependable scorer. He's got great size for a two guard. And Burks hits two free throws. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Duarte passes to Brissett. Here's Bitadze. Inside. Here's Lamb. Burks pulls it in. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the Knicks. From 12 feet out, the Pacers pull it in. Here's Bitadze. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Mitchell Robinson. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Indiana's shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and New York making a change here. Brickley is checked in. Both good from the line that time. Here's Rose. He has six. Six. 
Now the feed to Burks. Misses from short range. Pacers trail by nine. Craig passes to be touched. Here's Duarte. Misses the three. Bryant. Craig defending. Shot from 12. Craig pulls it in. Craig's got five rebounds tonight. There's a minute 34 left here in the third quarter. Here's Bitadze. And a miss there on the triple. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Here's Grimes. Some solid defense there from Lamb. Pacers trailed by nine. And uh, 101 left in the third quarter of the game. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. Merlin's Noel checks in for New York. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Indiana. There's a minute left to play here in the third. Duarte passes to Craig. Up and in on the layup. Works that one inside nicely. The Knicks leading by seven. To the middle. There's Noel. And slam dunk by Noel. At his size, you simply cannot give up that kind of deep positioning to Nerland's Noel. Pass to Brissette. Quickly against Brogdon. They get it back. Craig. The layup off target. New York's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. There's the pass to Burks. Lock at six. There's Noel. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And so it's the New York Knicks ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They've had active hands and have forced a lot of turnovers in this one. Back to the action after this word. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Pacers trail by nine. And a look at the five for the Pacers to start the fourth quarter. Rob and Lamb are the guards. In the post, it's Sabonis and Turner. And it's Craig in at the three, the small forward. And that one drops. We are talking about 6'11", 240 pounds of nothing but big-time athlete. Domantas Sabonis doing work. And here is Quickly. Bryant, defended by Sabonis, and he recovers it. Just three to shoot. Tries again. Gets rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Here's Fournier, and it's blocked. It's out of bounds. Last touch by Lamb. The Knicks making a switch here. Barrett's checked in. And the Pacers also making a change. 
Warren's checked in. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Here's Fournier. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Wow, look at the way the big man, Noel, set up his guys. Puts the pass in the perfect position. Easy shot. Brogdon against quickly. Brogdon the pass to Sabonis. Now here's Randall. He's tightly guarded. Warren against Barrett. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Warren kicks to Brogdon. Dishes it to Lamb. Six on the shot clock. Here's Warren. Here's Brogdon. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Well, it takes a certain level of composure and willingness to absorb contact on the interior. Step up there, Mr. Brogdon. Fournier with the ball. Sabonis defending. Barrett against Warren. This shot's just, it's not there right now with his team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Indiana moving it around. Here's Turner. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. I'll tell you, there's nights where it looks like Miles Turner is unguardable, capable of scoring in the paint, even with the defense draped all over him. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. Yeah, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Sabonis, the best to Brogdon. Outside Turner. Passes to Warren. And for Barrett. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And here's Fournier. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. This guy is such an instinctive scorer. R.J. Barrett goes to the floater game. Logged in the pass to Sabonis. Right side Turner. It's over Fournier. The shot, no good. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Brogdon against quickly. Shoots over Brogdon. And it's quickly missing. Pacers trail by seven. Right side Sabonis. Pass to Lamb. Feeds it to Turner. Bucket. Turner's got 10 points in just the second half. Don't you love how many different ways Miles Turner can score the basketball spot up in transition, operating in the post. He's got the entire arsenal. Boy, the game of basketball has exploded in Europe and in one country in particular, France. Evan Fournier has been a fixture on the French national team and he has got some incredible teammates. First one falls for Fournier. He's joined in the international competitions by NBA Defensive Player of the Year, Rudy Gobert. Boy, what a great one-two punch for the French, including those two. Nine players from France saw time in the NBA in the 2021 season. Gives you some sense of how the talent pool continues to expand. Incredible. Pacers trail by seven. McConnell passes to Turner. Brockton outside. And the rejection by Noel. This is a staple of his game. Nerlens Noel sends it back. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. A shot by McConnell, no good. New York leading by nine. Pass to Noel. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. And stolen 
by Fournier. The rebound by Brogdon. Brogdon's got his fifth rebound in this one. The pass to Turner. Back to Brogdon. Now, here's McConnell. Started by Walker. Out to Turner. The tray. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. The Knicks shooting at 36%. They really seem out of sync offensively. Noel passes to Walker. And it's sent back by Turner. The bonus against Barrett. Passes it to McConnell. Stolen by Walker. And they're moving it up. They get it back. The shot's good from Fournier. Evan Fournier has an innate sense of where the basketball is going to come off the rim. And if you don't box him out, he's going to take great use of it. Timeout called the Pacers. Nice game. Great performance by Julius Randle. Boy, he's been relentless. And to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear Rick Carlisle's message to his team. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now. And we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin? Thank you, David. Here's Brogdon. Takes it inside. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Boy, that's the level of aggression that can really kickstart an offense. Malcolm Brogdon puts it on the deck with authority. Sabonis with the steal. McConnell with it. Looking to end his cold spell, and he lays it up and in. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. Nice deep from Fournier. And here's Fournier, he brings it up for the Knicks. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. Pass to McConnell. In the corner, it's Brogdon. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Malcolm Brogdon a little bit crafty on the interior, getting that one down. Pass to Fournier. Handle with the ball. He's covered by McConnell. And another turnover here by New York. Derrick Rose has checked in for Kemba Walker. Pacers trail by five. Brogdon outside. It's not going to go for him. Nice D from Fournier. That's good from Randall on the assist by Noel. 21 points for Julius Randall. Boy, you love the determination from Julius Randall. This guy has a knack for scoring against good defense. Turner with it. Now guarded by Noel. Brogdon can't get it to fall. The Knicks leading by seven. Now Barrett. 
Now the pass to Rose. Shoots the three. Nice D from Warren. Pays are shooting around 37% in the fourth quarter. The minute's starting to wear on them. Here's McConnell. Gets rebounded by New York. Rose has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And he drops it in from the low post. And it's a nine-point Knicks lead. Boy, what a warrior Derrick Rose is. Guy gets buckets through contact out there. So tough. Sabonis kicks to Brockton. To the inside. And McConnell gets it to go. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example. Knowing where each other is at all times. Time, out, time, out. time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Outside Fournier. Pass to Randall. He's looking for Noel and finds him. And it's sent back by Turner. To the paint. And now the fast break. Brogdon with the ball. Shoots over Fournier. The shot by Brogdon. No good. The Knicks leading by seven. Now here's Rose. low defended by Sabonis Randall no good here's Brogdon that falls nice feed that time from Sabonis Sabonis has got five assists in the game the Knicks shooting in this fourth quarter pretty dire at 27 percent Rose passes to Randall and Randall throws it down well the emphatic finish from Julius Randall get off your feet young sir Noel against Brogdon. Two points. That one goes. Poise and confidence. Malcolm Brogdon with the big bucket. Barrett against Warren. And Barrett comes it in. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again. And that's the result of the work put in. They grab their own miss. And that one, good. Brogdon's got 15 points in just the second half. Well, just find a way. Malcolm Brogdon stepping up at a big one. Randall passes to Rose. Randall against Warren. Uses the glass to finish the way. Randall's got six in the quarter. And no surprise here, right? This guy is not only a gifted player, but he is so smart on the offensive end. Brogdon outside. The 11-footer. Count it! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Big-time delivery from DeMontis Sabonis. Okay. Randall against Sabonis. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. The Knicks making a switch here. Walker's checked in. And 
and the Pacers call time here. They're behind by eight. 40 seconds left to play here in the fourth. seconds left in the fourth quarter for three Brogdon Randall grabs the board pass to Fournier a three-pointer off the mark after the strong first half this guy has not been the same and largely a no-show right here not watching the line there that'll be a backcourt violation The clock now can just run out for the Knicks. Now here's Rhodes. Tight defense on him. And so it's the Knicks with the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kevin, with Julius Randle. And Julius, you get it done at multiple ends. Where does your focus been in terms of approach? Just tell you what the defense gives them. I'm a lot more patient, uh, let the game come to me. Um, don't really try to force things as much. You know, sometimes I get out of character, but uh, I just try my hardest to let the game come to me the most. Well, you were a big part of the win tonight, Julius. Thanks for your time. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.